So let's take a look at uh, how you handle doing uh, authorizations for SAP uh, Crystal Reports in SAP Business One. Uh, if we take a look here uh, at SAP Business One, I do have it open and we'll expand it on the screen. And um, what we're able to do is uh, go to our menu and administration setup general of course and report and layout manager uh, once we're in the report and layout manager we can navigate to a report this is where you manage all of the reports within SAP Business One of course and once we're uh, located to a crystal report for instance I'm going to locate one in here here uh, under uh, samples I've got a whole bunch of them uh, that we could select and there we are now, you'll notice that when you're in this window, of course, um, the button, once you select a crystal report, um, allows you, you'll notice I've selected on a report that's not a crystal report, uh, but with a crystal report, I can actually set the authorization right from this screen. So if I click the Set Authorization button, it takes me immediately to the authorization screen. What's nice about that is that that crystal report right here is already selected, so I don't have to go searching through the authorization screen to find it. Um, so this is kind of handy. And then, of course, I can see all of my users, and I can select any particular user. Here's the manager, and you see the manager has full authorization to run this report. But if I go to somebody like Sophie, this user, I could change her authorization to say, Sophie can't run that uh, crystal reports backorder report. So she will not have the ability to execute it in the system, uh, wherever it might be. So I'm going to go ahead and set no authorizations here for Sophie. Right? And in this screen, I'm going to click Update. 